Hello everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to implement a stack using an array in C programming. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our session for today. So let's have a brief look on the agenda. We will begin with what exactly is a stack. Then we will understand operations on stack. Then we will see how to implement a stack using array. And finally, we will implement a stack using array practically. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now let's get started with our first topic. That is what is a stack? So a stack is a linear data structure that follows FIFO or first in first out principle. All the operations on the stack are done only from one end that is the top. So you can see this image here and this particular image of books can be considered as stack. And you can see that the addition or elimination of elements that is books in this particular case is happening only through the top section. Now, we will understand what are the basic operations that can be performed on a stack. So, the basic operations that can be performed on a stack are push, pop, and peak. So, this particular image on the right side will help you understand what exactly is push, pop, and peak. As we discussed, the elements will be added into the stack from the top. So when you add an element from the outside into the stack, it will be pushed from the top. That is the push operation. And if you want to eliminate an element from the stack, it will be eliminated from the top. That is the pop operation. Apart from these two, that is push and pop, we have another operation that is called as peak. The main intention of peak is just to see the element which is on the topmost part of the stack. It will just retrieve the element from the top. It will not pop it or it will not push any other element onto the top. It will just copy and it will just print what is present on the top. So these are the main operations that is push, pop and peak. Now let us see how to implement this stack using array. So implementation of stack data structure can be done in two ways. That is array and linked list. Now in this particular session, we will learn how to implement stack using array data structure. Now without further ado, let's get started with the implementation of stack. So we will be performing push operation that is inserting a new element into the stack. Now followed by that, we will be performing the pop operation onto the stack that is eliminating or deleting an element from the top position of the stack. And followed by that, the last operation that is the peak operation where we will be just retrieving the topmost element from the stack without removing that element from the stack or without adding any new element to the stack. Now that we have a detailed understanding of what are the basic operations that can be applied onto the stack, let's get started with the practical implementation. Now you can see that on my screen we have the basic fundamental operations onto stack that are the push and pop. Now without further ado, let's get started with running this code. Don't worry about the code. This particular code will be present in the description box below or if you need it, you can always write down to us in the comment section below and we will have it sent to your mail ID so that you can have a better understanding of the code and try to execute the code in your local system. Now let's run the code and see the output. As you can see, the code got successfully executed and the topmost element is A and the topmost element is B after the element is being popped away and it says that the element B was popped out and after that the topmost element was A and after that the element A was also popped out and now the top is pointing to minus 1 which means to say that the stack is empty. So with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on stack implementation using array data structure. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this tutorial, 
or if you need the code that we have used in this particular tutorial then please feel free to let us know in the comment sections below and we will have your queries solved as early as possible until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.